So it might just be time to get an eGPU if you're a Legion Go main. And the big reason for that for me is lossless scaling's multi-GPU support. And let's talk about it. And as I say in all my videos, here's a disclaimer. This video is actually not supported by any of these companies. So no, I'm not a 1X player shill. Basically though, let me show you how this thing works. You're using multi-GPU support in lossless scaling frame generation. And this has some long lasting effects that I think is gonna really benefit mini PCs as well as handheld PCs like the Legion Go or other USB 4 or Oculink supported handhelds. All right, enough babbling. Let me show you what you can basically do with this and how it works. And for those of you who are tired of me showing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you know what, too bad. I've got some Last of Us 2 later on the X1 Pro, so skip ahead in the timestamps if you want to look at that. Now then, if I can draw your attention to the FPS counter, you'll notice that when you enable frame generation, and that's including the frame generation that's built in-game, it will tax the GPU a little bit. So you'll be losing some of your frame rate before it is then multiplied using those fake frames or AI-generated frames. The benefit of this new lossless scaling sorcery is that you can have the full GPU leveraged using an external GPU, and then you can use the integrated GPU like the 780M that's on the Legion Go to do the frame generation. In doing so, you're offloading some of that work that would be done for the frame generation from the external GPU for your internal GPU to work. And I'm demonstrating on screen here that you don't need something like an HX370 in order to do this. The 780M on the Legion Go is just powerful enough as well. One thing to keep in mind here and not get twisted is that you will be bottlenecked at some point because these CPUs are just not that powerful, despite how powerful they are today, compared to, say, a desktop PC. So if you are wondering, yes, you could potentially do something like this on a desktop PC too. Just make sure you don't blow out some breakers. Okay, so how do you get this to work? Obviously, you have to have an eGPU on hand, and then you have it plugged in via USB 4 or Oculink if you're using a handheld. In the case of the Legion Go, you have to use USB 4 since it has no Oculink port. But for something like the X1 Pro, you can use Oculink or you can use USB 4. I've said in other videos before that I prefer USB 4 because of the plug and play functionality, but you will get more performance using Oculink. Once your external GPU is connected, like mine in this case, which is the 1X GPU 7600 MXT, then you can go into lossless scaling and select which one is doing the frame generation. In this case, for the Legion Go, it's the 780M. And then after that, you just hit the scale button. Of course, you can do double frame generation or multi in even adaptive frame generation using the sorcery that is lossless scaling frame generation. So yeah, if you'd like more details or more detailed guide on lossless scaling frame generation, make sure to leave a comment below. So yeah, that's basically what you can get using the multi-GPU support through lossless scaling frame generation. Now let me throw you some more footage here uh, from the two games that I tested. As always, thanks for clicking on the video, and remember, you are a beautiful person, so don't let anything hold you back.